were all for Red Rum. Already he was a national hero. But could he now do what no horse had ever done and win a third Grand National? Again he was carrying top weight of 12 stone, giving weight to a Gold Cup winner in the veteran Lescargo. And uh, they've gone, spit an image, uh, just a little bit slow, Southern Quest a little bit slow, and as they race down towards the Melling Road, Junior Partner is one of the first to show, and it's Junior Partner and Glen Owen was towards the outside, Zimulator going up to take it up, and it's Zimulator now, from Junior Partner and Glen Owen, then comes Rough House, then on the outside is Money Market, then comes uh, Glanford Brig and Les Cargo, and even Dawn right up with them, but it's Zimulator and Junior Partner as they come to the first, and we join John Hanmer. Simulator in the lead with Phil free in second place, Danford Brig close up on the inside, so too is Lascargo, so is Junior Partner. One of the back markers, Rough Silk, jumped it slowly, Ragtrade jumped it slowly, the Shane. faller was Shane Man, the only faller at the first, but his rider is up very quickly and Simulator leads over the second from Glanford Brig and Junior Partner is down, badly interfered with Glen Owen. And Another faller was clear cut, and as they go to the ditch, the third fence at Simulator in the lead from Feel Free, then Glanford Brig, then Lascargo and Rough House, then comes Money Market, and Royal Relief made a bad mistake at the rear of the field, but as they go to the force, it's Simulator from Feel Free and Glanford Brig and over to Julian Wilson. And Simulator's down on that one, and that leaves, and, and also down is Rough House. Rough House is on the floor, and another faller at that one I can't see, but as they come to the next, it's Feel Free from Glanford Brig towards the inside, and these two are clear. That's the fifth fence, and they're over it. Feel Free from Glanford Brig, then Lascargo. On the outside of Lescargo is the Dickler going very strong. Red Rum's about in the centre of the field. Right at the back is Rough House and Castle Ruddery refused there as they run down to Beaches. The two leaders at Beaches are Feel Free and Glanford Brig. Those two clear over it and they both cleared it from the Dickler. After the Dickler and Spitten Image is a faller at that one and April 7th has also gone at Beaches. The two leaders are Glanford Brig who jumps it clear from Feel Free and third place is the the Dickler in fourth place is Bo Bob. Les Gargo made a mistake in fifth place. In sixth is Glen Owen. In seventh is Southern Quest. Then comes High Ken and Money Market. After that comes Tudor View. And Royal Relief is a faller at that last one. Spanish Steps is still with the field as they come to the canal turn. And over it, it was Glanford Brick from field three. Bo Bob jumps it in third. The Dickler is fourth. High Ken is fifth. Southern Quest is sixth. Les Gargo is seventh. Eighth is Money Market. Then comes Tudor View and Glen Owen. And Bally Richard again was a faller at that one as Glanford Brick jumps Valentine's in the lead. And all the leaders are over Valentine's. The field headed by Glanford Brick from field three, then Bo Bob and the Dickler, then High Ken and Southern Quest, then Lascargo and Money Market and Tudor Viewers. We rejoin John Hanmer. And Glanford Brig in the lead from field three, then comes Bo Bob and Southern Quest, then the Dickler. Behind the Dickler is High Ken, then Lascargo, Tudor View, Money Market, Manicou Bay as they come to the next. And Glanford Brig over first, field three second, then Bo Bob, Southern Quest, the Dickler, High Ken. Then Lescargo and Tudor View, Manicou Bay, Money Market. Behind Money Market is Spanish Steps and Red Rum just in behind those and going easily at the moment. And Glanford Brig the leader from Feel Free, Bow Bob, Southern Quest, the Dickler, High Ken, Lescargo, Tudor View, Manicou Bay, Money Market. Then Kilmore Boy, Red Rum. Behind Red Rum, Spanish Steps. Then Halley Percy and Glen Owen. Then Landlark, Rag Trade. Behind Rag Trade is even dawn but as they go back onto the race course it's Glanford Brig in the lead from Feel Free, Southern Quest and Bow Bob and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, Glanford Brig blazing the trail and at a cracking pace too with Bow Bob right up there and Southern Quest towards the outside and Feel Free comes next then the little gap to High Ken who's going well with the Dickler just in behind him and then Lescargo then Manicou Bay behind Manicou Bay is Tudor View behind Tudor View is Money Market on the inside of Kilmore Boy and then comes Red Rum and just in behind Red Rum is Halley Percy with Glen Owen and Spanish Steps and then Rag Trade and then Landlark coming to the next now and Glanford Brig drunks it in the lead from Southern Quest and Feel Free's a faller there Feel Free has gone at that one and as they come up towards the next he's brought down Tudor View it's Glanford Brig Glanford Brig still in the lead from Southern Quest, then comes Bo Bob on the inside, then Les Gargo. Just in behind Les Gargo is Manicou Bay, and then High Ken, and then the Dickler, and then Money Market and Spanish Steps. And behind them, Red Rum and Kilmore Boy, and then Rag Trade. Then comes Landlark, and then Halley Percy as they come to the chair, led by a pack of loose horses who could cause a pack of trouble here. And it's Glanford Brig who jumps it in the lead from Bo Bob on the outside, then Southern Quest, and then Les Gargo and Manicou Bay, and then the Dickler. Landlark was brought down there. And as they come to the water, it's Glanford Brig in the lead from Bo Bob. Just in behind Bo Bob is Southern Quest and then the Dickler and Manicou Bay and then High Ken and then Lescargo. Behind Lescargo 
his Spanish steps, and then comes Red Rum, then Kilmore Boy and Rag Trade. Behind Rag Trade is Money Market and Glen Owen. Behind Glen Owen is Halle Percy, then comes Ballyass and Rough Silk. They're the only ones left standing, and as they go out into the country on the second circuit, it's Glanford Brig in the lead from Bo Bob, Southern Quest, High Ken, Les Gargo, the Dickler. Then comes Spanish Steps and Manicou Bay and Money Market and Red Rum and Kilmore Boy and Rag Trade and Glen Owen and then Halle Percy and it's back to John Hanmer. And Glanford break the leader, then Southern Quest and Bo Bob and Lascargo, then Red Rum taking close order, then comes High Can as they jump the 17th, Glanford break jumped it well in the lead, all the leaders over safely. Southern Quest is second, Lascargo third, then High Ken, then comes Bo Bob and Red Rum, then Kilmore Boy and Rag Trade, the Dickler going easily on the inside just behind the leaders as they jump the 18th, and again all the leaders over it safely with Glanford Brig disputing it with High Ken and Southern Quest, then the Dickler, then Lascargo and Red Rum, behind Red Rum Manicou Bay, then Bo Bob as they jump the ditch, and High Ken jump to the front, a magnificent lead by High Ken, and he's out in front now of Southern Quest, then Glanford Brig, Lascargo, the Dickler, Red Rum, then Manicou Bay, Kilmore Boy, Money Market under pressure, then come Spanish Steps as they jump the next over to Julian Wilson. And High Ken clears it in front, what a ride Barry Brogan's having, Glanford Brig's on his inside, towards the outside, as Red Rum cruising up towards the leaders, just on his inside is Southern Quest. Just behind these is Les Cargo. The Dickless there on the inside. Then comes Manicou Bay and Kilmore Boy. So John, the one before Beaches and High Ken has gone. High Ken's a faller at that one and the ones behind him have just escaped the trouble. And that leaves Glamour Brig in front again from Red Rum cruising up on the outside of Southern Quest. And these are the three leaders as they come to Beaches for the second time. Glamour Brig from Southern Quest and Red Rum. Then comes the Dickler and Les Cargo at Beaches. And Southern Quest over from Red Rum and Glamour Brig. Then comes the Dickler. The leaders are all over. Les Cargo goes next from Money Market and Manicou Bay, then Kilmore Boy, just behind Kilmore Boy is Spanish Step, and Bo Bob is a faller at that one, and at the 23rd it's Red Rum who makes a slight mistake there and Southern Quest is back in front from Glanford Brig and Red Rum, then comes the Dickler in fourth, Les Cargo is fifth, Manicou Bay is sixth then Money Market in the outside of Kilmore Boy, then comes Spanish Steps as the leaders race towards the canal, turn for the last time and it's Southern Quest on the outside of Glanford Brig, Red Rum is over in third the Dickler is fourth, Les Cargo is fifth then Manicou Bay is sixth, then Spanish Steps and Money Market, Kilmore Boy, and they're a long way in front of Glen Owen. Then comes Halle Percy and Rag Trade as the leaders, John Valentine's. And over it, it was Southern Quest from Red Rum. Red Rum takes the lead from Southern Quest. Kilmore Boy was a faller at that last one. Glanford for Brick still there in the inside, as is Les Cargo. These four almost in line. Then comes the Dickler in fifth. Spanish Steps moves into sixth. Then oh, after that is Money Market and Manicou Bay as we rejoin John Hammer. And Red Rum in the lead from Southern Quest, Les Cargo, then Glanford Brig and the Dickler. These all closely grouped and they're clear of Spanish Steps and Money Market, then comes Manicou Bay, and over the next, Red Rum, just the leader from Southern Quest, then comes Lascargo, the Dickler, Glanford Brig losing ground quickly, then Spanish Steps and Money Market and Manicou Bay, and they've got just three to jump, and it's Lascargo and Red Rum, the first and second last year, and Red Rum jumps it in front from Lascargo, then Southern Quest, then comes the Dickler, behind the Dickler, Spanish Steps, then Money Market, still being chased along, then Glanford Brig and Manicou Bay, and these are a long way clear of Halle Percy and Rag Trade, and these seem to be the only ones in it, but as they go across the Milling Road, it's Red Rum and Lascargo matching strides, clear of the Dickler and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's last year's first and second, Red Rum and Lascargo, Red Rum with 12 stone, and Lascargo with 11-3 this time, Tommy Carberry on the inside of Brown Fletcher, as they come up towards the second last in the National, with the Dickler third, Spanish Steps four, Money Market five, six Southern Quest and seven Glanford Brig, and eight Manicou Bay, and these eight, virtually the only ones left in it now, as they come to the second last, Lascargo. Gargo, Les Gargo and Red Rum together as they come to the second last and they touch down together Red Rum and Les Gargo on the right of the picture it's Les Gargo, Tommy Carberry on the left it's Red Rum trying to make national history with Brian Fletcher and he's the first under pressure Red Rum as they come to the final fence in the national in third place is Spanish Steps and over the last they touch down together Spanish Steps and Red Rum and Red Rum now with a fractional advantage uh, Red Rum with a, for Les Gargo rather with a fractional advantage now over Red Rum and Les Gargo is going to avenge last year's defeat and Tommy Carberry is going to become the first jockey in history to win the Gold Cup and the Irish National and the English National as Les Gargo strides here, 12 years old, to win the National for Raymond Guest and here he comes to the line, Les Gargo, the comfortable winner of the 1975 National the little hero who won it last year and the year before, Red Rum is second He's run the blinder I mean, what's he beaten by? Horse who never got the credit for being as good a horse as he was, Les Cargo. I mean, um, you've got a dual gold cup winner, 
and you're giving him weight on ground.